Hi, I'm Julie Drew, and I'm going to take you through some simple uh, exercises you could do in your creativity using household items that you just might have hanging around your kitchen. So uh, let's get started. So I have here uh, some dish soap, some food coloring, water, uh, little containers, I even have some lids, if that's all you have, small is good, uh, some straws, and some q-tips, and some paper, okay? And so you might have all this at home. Now we'll get started. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, and I'm going to put um, as much as I have in here, and I'm going to put a little bit of dish soap in it, about the size of a quarter, and then I'm going to add a little water to it, nice and blue. Uh, this one is red. This one, although it looks green, it is actually a bright yellow. I don't think I have enough for green, but we'll try it. So I got my green out by um, squeezing water into my jar and then pouring it out. So I'm going to do that with my blue a little bit. Uh, squeeze it, let some water come in, shake it around and push it back out again. So then I'm going to um, mix them up a little bit. And I'm going to start with my lighter color first. So this is called bubble paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow bubbles. So we take our straw. So you're going to blow that one and I'm going to blow this one. And we're going to make some bubbles really slow, go slowly. And then pick another one. this one first. And kind of move it back into the center. Whoops. Okay, so you've got that one. I've got this one. Grab a piece of paper and we're going to bow the paper like this and come down right over the top of it. Um, so that's our first one. We're going to try this again. Uh, we can do bigger bubbles. I'm just going to do one bubble this time. And again, I'm going to bow it and come down until I see it on the outside to see how it, I see it through because then it's a stronger image. Now I can continue making more bubbles. And I want to do this near it, and again, I, I'll come down until it's captured. Makes a small light colors, so you can you can continue making more bubbles. Um, you know, filling your whole your whole piece in. Once we we do as many bubbles as we want, we can do some drawing, like I did this earlier and I see, saw a rabbit face here. So I have, this is the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And so with my Q-tip, just sticking it in, I was able to draw the ears. And so I'm going to put in my nose. And I have my little rabbit. So, um, have fun, blow your bubbles, and uh, create a masterpiece.